So as you all know, Bernie Sanders just reintroduced his Medicare for All bill, and he's been doing kind of a media tour to promote it. And he was interviewed by a reporter at CBS this morning, and he was asked a question that doesn't make any sense. He essentially was asked if he'd be willing to water down his health care proposal in order to make it more palatable to Republicans. Now, if you know anything about politics, you know that that's an idiotic question to ask in the first place. I reject the premise of it because that's what Obamacare was. He literally used their own policy, Romneycare, a policy plan that was cooked up by the Heritage Foundation, and they still rejected it. It was passed along party lines. Obamacare was. So there's nothing that you can propose to Republicans that will get them on board. So to begin with, I mean, the premise of the question is flawed itself, but nonetheless, Bernie Sanders proceeds to answer it, and then he's quickly cut off because the reporter interjects with one of the dumbest things, I kid you not, I have ever heard, if not the dumbest thing I've ever heard when it comes to health care. Take a look. You know, the president has now said that he wants his party to be the party of health care. Oh, I know. I, have you considered doing some version of this that you know would get some some semblance of Republican support? Well, right now, look, let's be clear. The re president wants his party to be the party of health care. Unfortunately, apparently, what he means by that is throwing 32 million Americans off of the health insurance they have. But I don't isn't know. that what your plan would do, too? Because you'd what be you? moving them into Medicare for all? I mean, if they have insurance right now... Wait a minute, wait, wait a second. President plan and what he has supported throws 32 million people off of health care. No alternative. We provide health care to every man, woman, and child in this country. I think maybe slightly different concepts. We guarantee health care to all. He throws 32 million off of health care. Off of the Affordable slightly Care Act. Different. Off of the Affordable Care Act. Yeah. And they have no alternative. Probably in the recesses of their minds, their alternative is junk insurance which means we're going to give you a head, we got a deal for you, man. We're going to give you really, really cheap insurance, really a bargain. Oh, by the way, there's a huge deductible, there's a huge copayment, and it doesn't cover very much. But you know what? It's cheap. I don't know what to say. That was literally the dumbest thing I have ever heard anyone say in mainstream news about Medicare for All. And I have combed through hours worth of footage on Fox News when it comes to this issue. I've watched countless mainstream media segments and that by a mile and a half is the dumbest thing I have ever fucking heard. Let me ask this reporter something. I don't know if he's gonna see this video. Um, and if he does, I hope that his feelings are hurt because he deserves it. Are you stupid? And I'm not asking you that to be a prick. I'm genuinely asking this as an earnest question. Are you stupid? Because do you not see the difference between a positive and a negative? How is expanding coverage to 100% of Americans where healthcare becomes free at the point of service in any way comparable to people losing healthcare? It's like saying you don't see the difference between someone who's getting married and someone getting divorced. I don't understand, and I'm, I'm being 100% serious, I don't understand how this reporter has a job because he's clearly really fucking stupid. Really stupid, and I mean that. I usually don't like to resort to ad hominem attacks, but if you say something like that, if you can't spot the difference between Medicare for all and people losing insurance, you are too stupid to be a reporter. Politics is not something you should be involved in in any way, shape, or form because you're dense. <laughs> My fucking head nearly exploded. And you could tell that Bernie Sanders had nearly exploded in that same clip because it was so stupid. It was a level of stupidity that is so unfathomable that you can't help but be genuinely shocked by hearing him say that with a straight face. But isn't know. that what your plan would do, too? Because you'd what be you? moving them into Medicare for all? I mean, if they have insurance right now. Wait a minute. What, what is second? What the hell did you just say? I mean, I am honestly baffled. I've watched this clip numerous times, and I still, I'm shocked 
by the level of ignorance from this reporter. This is a CBS News reporter. This isn't some fucking, you know, um, offshoot small news organization. This is from CBS, supposedly one of the most reputable news organizations in the country. And their reporter literally doesn't see a difference between giving people health care and taking it away. It's baffling to me. I'm genuinely shocked. This is the first time that I've ever heard the um, Medicare for All Act be described in this way because we've seen Medicare for All be framed as anti-Obamacare and wanting to destroy the ACA while, while pretending, you know, that Medicare for All isn't vastly superior. But this is the first time I've ever heard someone equate Medicare for All universal coverage with people losing their health care. Now, along those lines, if we accept that switching to Medicare for all where healthcare is extended to 100% of the population and is literally free at the point of service, if we constitute that as losing something, then how should we respond? If getting rid of the private health insurance company means you're losing something, how do we respond? I think that Bernie Sanders did come up with a really persuasive answer, but he's going to have to repeat this time after time because as you can see, there's a lot of disingenuity in the mainstream media, and they're going to try to not just take him out of context, but be openly deceptive about what Medicare for All would do. So this is Bernie's answer. And what if I have a private or employer-based insurance program right now, and I like it? Well, you may be one of the millions of people who leaves your job this year, and you're going to leave your private insurance. You may be one of the many millions of people who finds that their employer has gone out and got another uh, insurance company to cover you. You're going to have to change that. But essentially, under Medicare for all, all people will be covered by Medicare. So bottom line, if I like my program right now, I wouldn't be able to keep it. Well, often you don't have much choice about that. If you're working for somebody else, you're working for CBS, maybe tomorrow CBS will get a new insurer for you. You don't have much to say about it. In fact, Medicare for all is more stable. On the Medicare for all, you go to the doctor you want, freedom of choice regarding doctors, with regard, and, and the same with regard to hospitals. Many Americans don't have that because the doctor you may want to go to may not be in your network. So in my view, I think that that was virtually a perfect answer because he explained really well and really artfully that you're not losing anything. People don't actually like their insurance. The reason why they like their insurance is because they view it as a means to an end. They want to keep seeing the, the doctor that they've been seeing. Now, with private insurance, there's no guarantee. So with Medicare for All, if you truly want to see the same doctor, then you need the stability. You should want the stability that Medicare for All grants us. Because for me, I've lost my doctor multiple times throughout my life because I've switched insurance providers. So if you don't want that to keep happening, then you should also be advocating for Medicare for All. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. You have more stability under a Medicare for all system. Now, the problem with our current system is that even if you like your doctor and you think that your insurance is good, you may not even know that you're underinsured until you find out that you need a procedure that your health insurance provider is unwilling to cover. I mean, the system that we have is just, it's, it's regressive, it's absurd. So I don't know how anyone can defend it, but here we have a CBS journalist or reporter, whatever he calls himself, I'd call him a dipshit, who doesn't seem to know that there's a real meaningful difference between gaining Medicare for all, making healthcare free at the point of service, and taking away the health insurance that they have by destroying the ACA.